Okay, guys. Today, I have a ridiculous, week awesome find. So, I found this abandoned house that completely collapsed. And there's, like, a shed back here with stuff in it. And there's so many vehicles. There's, like, six vehicles over there. I found a motorcycle and a barn. There's two Dodge pickups. There's a Ford Ranger. There's a Chrysler Cordoba. There's a, um... Another, another Chrysler, I'm not sure what it is. And then there's just stuff all over. But right now I'm in a shed that's behind it, which is the only standing building. People have been here and spray-painted stuff and vandalized things, sadly. But there's just stuff in here. Like, I don't even know what this power equipment is. There's a boat. Oh, check this out. Old Fisher Price toy. There's more Fisher Price toys on the ground. Bro, check this out. A Jeep. A little Jeep. I was all I wonder what what the deal is with this place. Don't want to breathe in anything <laughs> I shouldn't be breathing in, but the vehicles, I don't know how long it's been vacant. It's been empty my entire life. But I do know that two of the vehicles have 2009 inspection stickers. Everything else is, like, older. There's one with a 95. So it's been abandoned probably at least since 2011. Or 2009, I mean, not 2011. But there's this. I don't know what it is. It's for a lawnmower, I think. There's just piles of crap in this garage back here. Here's an old tricycle. Here's a really old car trunk lid. I don't know what it's from. It's a snowblower over here in the corner. I'm not seeing much else in here. So let's go out here. So all the vehicles are way over here and so is the collapsed house. So let's go take a look I don't see anything else back here oh yeah sorry about that I'm trying to turn slowly but here's the shed that I just came out of there's this collapsed abandoned house and a ton of vehicles I came here because I just saw the abandoned house years ago and I saw a couple trucks that I wanted to take a look at. But when I came, I was not anticipating there to be so many vehicles back here in the bush. There's so many. It's ridiculous. And there's just junk all over. I think people might have dumped some stuff in here more recently too. But let's just take a moment to look at how many vehicles there is. So here's the house. It's basically completely collapsed. And it's pretty sketchy over here. So I don't know. I don't want to get too close because it could collapse. Here's some lawnmowers. There's always lawnmowers. I'm not going in this because obviously it could collapse at any moment. But just look at it. Should get some pictures, some shots from this side of the building. I didn't. There's the roof. I always wondered what was back here by this abandoned house. Oh, there's three lawnmowers under it. Four. There's four lawnmowers under this piece of roof. But anyway, let's get over here to these vehicles. Oh geez, I'm glad I uh, didn't walk here. There's the well, I'm assuming. But let's get to the vehicles. Here's a Chrysler Cordoba. This has got to be one of the coolest explorers I've done so far. Ellis Hospital Permit. Parking Permit. Unleaded gasoline only. There's just a bunch of junk in the trunk. Ha, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. 
at the tail light on this. This car is definitely probably not worth restoring. It's pretty rusty. Sorry about walking so close to things too, because it's very entangled and overgrown here, but I'm doing my best. This is gonna definitely be a longer video because there's so much more to come. Because to put in perspective, there's the Chrysler I'm standing next to. There's a Dodge, there's a NARC Chrysler, there's a Garden Tractor, there's that Dodge, there's a Ford Ranger, there's a Toyota Camry, and then there's a motorcycle in one of these sheds over here that I'm not sure what it is. And then there was the boat back there. I don't even know what's under the ground. I'm just waiting for something to jump out and attack me. This is a cool looking car though. Trees fell on some of them. Just a little bit sad. Just a little. No, it's it's sad. The only one here that I don't feel any sympathy for is the Camry. But the rest of them, like these Dodges, these are so cool. And this is this is heartbreaking. Look at the, how the tree just destroyed the roof. But they definitely got some good parts on them. I have to see if I can find out whoever owns this property. It's between a nature preserve and a golf course, and I tried looking up property records and I couldn't find anything on it. Let's get over. Isn't there a Chrysler and there's a garden tractor back in there, but it's too overgrown for me to get to. None of them have plates. I did see some in stickers, but no plates. This truck though, it's it got squashed pretty hard. It's sad. And then this Chrysler didn't fare much better. The front there is pinned down under this tree. It's a cement mixer. And like some kind of homemade trailer that looks like it was made out of a barrel. Get out of this into the less overgrown area. Well, I'm go along the other side of this Chrysler, and then I'll go to the next. So, I was trying to count how many vehicles. So there's Chrysler. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. You count the motorcycle. That's seven. And then some lawnmowers and a snowblower. And if you count the kayak or whatever it was then eight technically I guess but I'm only counting the cars the trucks and the motorcycle I don't find a lot of motorcycles but yeah sorry about the noise in the background we're near a road this is insane I didn't even notice the weed whacker there's so much trash just on the ground I don't even know what happened to this place. Because here's the other side of that house. That's the barn that has the motorcycle in it. This is... This is insane. I didn't know there was this many vehicles. So when I came up the drive, and I saw the one Dodge and the Ford, I'm like, cool. And then I noticed all of these others, and I was... I couldn't believe it. I thought this was just a bed and a cap at first, and I noticed it was actually a whole truck. There's so much trash in the back too though, it's it's filled. Weed whacker. Here's that other Chrysler. Thought it was a caddy at first, but and then I look closer. And it's definitely not a Cadillac. This one's pinned down under the tree too, but it a, and it appears to have not survived much better than the other one. Yeah, you can't see much, but it's, look, look at the amount of ne the uh, leaves and stuff. This has been here a long time. This is definitely one of the coolest explorers I've done. And then here's this other Dodge. Look how the, this just grew up over it. The bed is filled with trash and pine needles and stuff. 
interior. It's got like a bunch of pie plates in it for some reason. First gen ram. Somebody smashed the windshield on it recently. People came here and started messing with stuff and I hate it when people do that. They were spray painting on the building. I just didn't show it. They smashed the windshield on this truck. So there's the Chrysler way back here and then that Chrysler, the Dodge, Dodge, lawn mowers and stuff. Here's a Toyota Camry, Ford, Ranger, and there's a, like I said, a motorcycle in that barn. There's so many vehicles here. Still got the motor. Certainly doesn't look horrible. I've seen worse brought back to life. So this one, according to the sticker, has been sitting since 2003, I believe. This one has been sitting since 95. The two Chryslers, I don't know. And then the Camry and the uh, Ranger have been sitting since 2009. So I'm assuming this place was abandoned around 2009 for whatever reason. I don't know what happened to the house. I don't know if it collapsed before it was abandoned or if this is why it was abandoned. But there's a lot of trash lying around. Here's the... Camry. I kind of want to open the trunk, but I'm not sure if I'm going to find a body in it or not, so I'll, I'll leave that for another day. Not sure what year this is, maybe in 99. I don't know. It's got all the hubcaps, so no broken windows. One rolled down. Here's this Ford Ranger. It is filled with trash in the back. Holy cow. Somebody was here, looks like, scavenging parts off the vehicles. There is some very old newspaper in there. Trash. There is so much stuff randomly in here. It's just a bucket of chargers on top of it for no reason. Oh my, I hate thorn bushes so much, they're such a pain. Oh yeah, you can't read the registration sticker at all. But yep, 2009 is when I was last on the road. The hood is propped up somewhat. Still got the motor. There's so many thorns and prickers here though. Definitely not a place I could probably get to in the spring or summer. Well, late spring or summer, since it's spring now. This is definitely gonna be a longer video though. This ranger again. Can't really get too close because it's completely covered in prickers. But it's also been sitting since 09. I think it's an 80s one. Maybe 90s. The cow guard on the front is pretty cool though. I'm not gonna lie, that I like that look. This is probably one of the coolest ones here, though. Actually, they're all cool except for the Toyota. I could care less about the Camry. That kind of deserves to die here. But it shouldn't have taken the rest of them with it. But anyway. There's just so many vehicles here. It's insane. I don't know what... Like, I, I just don't know why they would have had so many vehicles still. And then this house. And there's a, there's a motorcycle. It's super sketchy getting over here though. So I'm not going to go too close. So I'm walking on a pile of rotten boards from the house, which are piled on God only knows what underneath. 
and I don't know what could be living in here. Oh, geez, already fell through slightly. But, uh, here's a motorcycle. Legit barn find. I don't know what it is. Looks maybe 70s, 80s. I don't know what else is in there. I didn't get close look. But, yeah. Definitely one of the cool, coolest uh, spots I've been. Definitely not as nasty as the hoarder house. I mean, there is garbage and stuff, but it's not just bags of trash like the hoarder house. It's just like papers and bottles mostly. The hoarder house just had bags of garbage lying around. It was gross. And the cars weren't even that much worse going to look at. I mean, it was an S10 and a kind of Voyager. Meanwhile, here though, this place has got some pretty cool stuff. Not gonna lie. But, um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe for more videos on abandoned vehicles and other things. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. This was definitely a longer video, but I hope you enjoyed. And you didn't get bored to the point where you just turned off the video. But, uh, yeah. Bye.